Well, here is where I realized that all my research is not essentially for naught, but uh, I mean, just do what I do. And if uh, things work out, cool. If they don't work out, also cool. But other than that, yeah, I just want to try to get a grip. If I can grab these branches out here, that would be fine. Otherwise, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because I only have four star bases, and that's uh, yeah. <laughs> so as long as we this lowers, we want it going here. Having done everything we can, all we can we need to go to the fist finisher. All we can do is wait out my fist and see if we have managed to stabilize the rift enough to bring Earth Beta into our universe. The event elation happens. Otherwise, the event static happens. I wanted to build gene clinics. I thought I researched gene clinics. Am I, am I uh, fooling myself? Anywho. Natural wormhole. The wormhole events. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Ashaik system, a rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it will be ripped apart in seconds. Somehow it could be stabilized, and that's something to think about. But uh, as we're paused here and our surveys are done, let's continue to surveying uh, these few over here. Is that the... well, we'll find out later. Elation. And that's the dimensional, beta dimension. A formless static covers a large swath of Earth beta sky and is closing in rapidly as Jesus, Lo Lopez, Alpha, and Beta, working side by side, finish their arduous task. The negative mass stabilizers activate, and the tear between worlds moves over Earth beta just as a static world would smother it. The rift winks out moments later, and negative mass stops appearing at its former location. It is done. After months of study and research, accounting for new gravitational wells and habitable zones, Sol now has a new inhabited planet orbiting it. Just as once, everybody lives. Actually, with that said, I actually should make another science ship, or someone dedicated towards looking at these anomalies more. Uh, although, one hollow theater will be very helpful as well. Alien Muriel. While conducting surface scans of Pinkoya 3, Science Officer Kumar Godov of the crew of the UNS Copernic Copernicus discovered what appears to be an officially, uh, artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log updated. I should take a look at that, by the way. An alien empire has established communication. Uh, let's see. Military com commissarist. Militarist fanatic egalitarian. I think that's the only thing we really share. Question mark. Represent the Confederationism dominions. Uh, opinion. Spy network. I mean, they're probably going to spy on us, but... Uh, I don't need to spy on them, so let's do this instead. And we finally have met someone, because we have the Xenophile effect, but, or Xenophile trait of our own, uh, thing. So let's, yeah, I'm gonna try to close out on these another three years, and I'll get into the next one. Let's plan now, though. Starbase influence. I need more star bases. actually, funny enough. Yeah, because my, I plan to be a lot... My, I plan to expand my territory quite a bit, uh, relative to the entire galaxy, I guess is the term. Uh, I should grab this, because I need star bases, and I won't have the fleets available, so that's why defense platforms, to me, are very valuable. Obviously, in other game types, like if you're doing actual PvP, cooperative PvP, if you're playing certain RPing certain situations, this would be less useful, but I can see. But let's just make sure. Monthly Unity, this is good overall, but... I'm not really paying attention to the governing aspects of uh, my empire. Mastery of Nature, clear blocker cost, which I do like because I'm focused on economy, but expansion is the name of my early game. Empire size from planets, which helps with this. Technology cost and adoption has increased somewhat. That's on me, though. And as I... if And that's, again, that's... Well, I'm trying to look at colonies, but let me see. Let me check for sure. An edicts fund, that's can be useful. I have to check my edicts, though. Leader level camp. I don't know about this. I don't know about leaders, but we'll see. Envoys available. That's only if... If I were in a bigger galaxy with more uh, ally, uh, more uh, empires, that might be important. I'll call them empires. 
Terraforming costs. But I haven't done Climate Restoration, so... This will probably wait until my third tradition. I want to do this one. This will probably be important for me, yeah. As I grow bigger. Uh, this is generally great as well. I mean, if not one of the best. Defender of the Galaxy, and these are for... These for later. And then Eternal Vigilance for me might be useful. If I grab... If I grab Grasp the Void, I should probably grab uh, Eternal Vigilance right after um, either World Shaper or something else. But that's my plan. System I may be... Complete. Oh, shoot. I need to start building oh. towards this one. Okay, so let's have you move... And yeah, let's have you move here. And we'll see. Institute of Robotic Sciences. Uh, yeah, that's... Probably want to do that. I'll probably even support you full. So free movement for prohibiting prefers yes. Basically every if I like everything here, I should just support them. Uh use of selective population proposed anti letting any descendant of our empire live in a stratified economy. Question mark. Benevolent subjugation, yeah, I did that. Anti autocratic nominate elected government, well please, yeah. So let's Hmm. Uh, let's see here. No, I can't do that, but I can at least promote them. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. And then the others I'm just gonna keep failing on, but... Hey, trademark anything, call me established, and tradition available, which we will do this. And then I said, uh... Ah, shoot. <laughs> uh, I can't do the thing. Well, wait, I thought I can. Let's find out. Yeah, it wasn't any of these. Envoys, level cap, edicts fun, empire size, clear block blocker. Um, again, because I'm expanding so much, I want more star bases. Otherwise, I probably would have taken this for the sake of this. Is that actually better? That might help me more, right? No, from planets. Uh, how much am I getting from planets? It doesn't, well, I mean, I can make a guess, but... <sighs> Star base influence cost. Uh, grass the Void, sorry. Uh, because I play, I plan to spread myself a bit more thin. If I don't, then this is, well, not useless, but yeah, we're, we're going to take that. And we'll move on. Actually, research complete. Star hold. City district housing. Destroyer build cost, build speed, engineering research. Gas refineries. That's important. I like this, though. Even though, yes, I, right now I'm only getting... What is it? From researchers? So, yeah, eight, about... Uh, on average, 70. So this would be a 14. Well, actually, that's quite important. Yeah, we're going to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to put stuff into destroyers, but hey. Uh, independence guaranteed. Guarantees the independence of our empire if they attack now. Again, I can't... I, I need the influence right now. Most of the most of the time, those agreements lower your influence, uh, which is again the reason I'm giving not to do this stuff. Research complete. Re both research completed. Uh, cold fusion real. Um. Ha! Uh, Starbase planetary inhibitors. Oh, these are inhibitors, which are which are useful. But uh, I'm gonna go do this instead. Terraforming, yeah, let's do that. Otherwise I would have done that. And yeah, let's get to work. So I need to remember, is this a tech world? Why is this a tech world? Uh, because I put things like that, although the size isn't great. If that's the case, I think this is going to be our generator pro uh, world. One mining district and one industrial is par for the course, but we're going to do that into can we do we have a building i don't think we did i remember not doing that uh but i mean well we can wait well can we wait on a building well let's find out however until then i'm going to not not automate uh i'm going to make this a generator world yeah that's the plan with only four jet districts but it's better than nothing
Abandoned terraforming equipment. Since our initial settlement at San Cristobal, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere has been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to... Oh my goodness, my microphone. According to projected models for a world of this type, our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming, com terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of, terraforming, of the terraforming process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to re reactivate the machinery. Uh, there's no telling what the end result will be like, however. Who could have built this? Resume process or dismantle Situation equipment. Updated. Uh, again, I don't know these events, so... Whatever happens, happens. So resume process. Block also making trainer. sure. Uh, yeah, so let's do the projects here. Before you swing, I said upwards, no, down, down towards the south. So let's go here, let's do these things. And yeah, that'll be your job. As we move into year 30, I think that's going to be near where we end our video, unless something Incoming happens. Yeah, so we'll deal with this, oh, and then we'll do a tradition really quick. What do we want to do? Actually, this is, the, I guess this is the, this is the last part, but not supremacy, maybe prosperity? What do I want? This is going to be important. Maybe I should actually stop here and think about it. Yeah, so actually I'm going to stop here and think about it. And that will be the end of the video. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you have any ideas or comments, please say so. Otherwise, uh, I'd appreciate any support. It'll help me going long term. And uh, yeah, one more time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.